Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Dave, ABQ Sports Cards. We are live and direct from ABQ HQ. Welcome to the show. Hardly anybody watches. It is Tuesday morning, Family Feud. We are setting everything up. We are opening 2020 Panini Prism on Saturday, 485 per team, 350 for shipping. Welcome, dear man. Dear man's first. Apparently, the ABQ Family Feud time. We are going to be showing off auction items for tomorrow and opening a value pack of 2020 score. Big, big thing uh, happening is the fact that the Marlins are. Getting their games postponed for now. We'll see uh, how everything reacts if uh, no more players test positive. I think we should be moving forward if it starts spreading to other teams. And uh, it might be a real chance that the season could be in jeopardy. We'll see what happens. Oh, man. ABQ Family Feud is what is in store today. Bunch of giveaways going on. We played Road to the Show for the first time in a while yesterday, smacking a few home runs, getting some RBIs, and staying in last place over on the ABQ Sports Network. Also tried to qualify for the Everybody's Golf Cup tournament going on. We'll see how I did. I shot minus six. I know Spidey the Rana Boys shot minus seven. Curtis Elliott shot a minus two. I don't know about uh, Card Shark and Hot Box cards, but those were our scores. We'll see if they hold up in time. Enough for everybody to qualify. Auction items, if you're catching us on the replay for tomorrow morning stream, Wednesdays and Sunday mornings, we auction items off. Auction items on the block tomorrow. No particular order here. Chris Archer, 2018 gold card. This thing is numbered. It is 1926 out of 2018. Next up is a 2017 Bo Jackson photo variation. Old school Bo. They should have had him climbing the wall. That would have been fantastic. Next item on the block is the Manny Machado short print photo variation. 2017 tops as well. Series two on that one. Tops Chrome, Ronald Acuna Jr. Gold Cup. These are auction items for tomorrow. JBJ, Jackie Bradley Jr., black border design, or black parallel, 2018. 26 out of 67 on that one. We're manning it up here. This is uh, the same shirt, but a year later. 2018 tops photo variation. Car Shark Chris is here. Welcome, sir. We're showing off items. They're going to be auctioned off tomorrow. Jonas Espedes, photo variation. Mason Sports Talk, welcome. The King Felix, Felix Hernandez, photo variation. I think this one's been on the block before. Last chance to pick this one up. Auction items for tomorrow are what we're showing off. 2018 Mike Piazza. Short print. 11 a.m. Mountain Time is when we're going to auction these off. Tonight starts the first of four boxes. 2015 Donrish. We spun the Wheel of Destiny for it last night. Victor Robles. Black and white. Gypsy Queen. 17 out of 50. Those are the auction items for tomorrow. No particular order. I might change it up a little bit. 
We are here for some Family Feud. Yeah, that Victor Robles is fantastic. Curtis Elliott on that uh, Cleveland Browns diet, losing five pounds a day. Welcome, sir. Dear man, back on the stream, we are having a few giveaways. The Greatest Day Ever giveaway, 350 subscriber giveaway, and the Amazon wish list giveaway. All of them will be finishing up this weekend. Uh, I'm sure I have a, a uh, motor vehicle appointment at 1 o'clock, so unsure whether or not we're going to stream any baseball today. If I get back in time, we'll stream the White Sox Indians. If I don't, um, it'll probably be the Padres later on. It'll be our first time trying to stream and broadcast at the same time, so we'll see how that works. But we're playing Family Feud. Welcome, everybody. Time for the first Fast Money round questions. <laughs> fast Money determine who's going to play round one of Family Feud. Four answers on this board. What's one way to tell someone at home is mad? If someone is mad at home, how can you tell? Other than all your bed stuff being put on the couch. Dear man says they smirk at you. Curtis Elliott, Karshaw Chris say they won't talk, and Mason Sports Talk says they get all gangster on you. Not the face. Facial expression. All right. Four answers on the board. Number four is ignores you. Number three is they are slamming things. Apparently, people are mad at my house all the time. Number two is yelling. And the number one answer is that they don't talk. Curtis and Car Shark don't know how they knew those answers. They must have phoned a friend or something because they get the opportunity to play round one. ABQ Family Feud. Welcome, fellas. All right, we're going to head straight into Adult Family Feud, since these two guys are playing. Three answers on the board, chance for both of them to run the gauntlet. Yeah, right? <laughs> Three answers on the board. Card Shark and Curtis playing round one of Family Feud. Dear Man and Mason, if you guys are still around at the end, you guys can play round number two. And here we go. Three answers on the board. Car Shark and Curtis Elliott are playing. Ethan H is here as well. Name a reason a couple might renew their vows. Name a reason a couple might renew their vows. Jake and Ethan in the house. Welcome to you too. Playing Family Feud. We just had our first Fast Money round. Curtis and Card Shark are... <laughs> We're getting the Robert answers here. Uh, let's see. Uh, infidelity not on the board. Anniversary is, though. You were close, Card Shark. I'll tell you that much. You were close. It says big anniversary, but we'll just give Curtis anniversary. 42 people saying that one. Curtis Elliott, pass or play? Only two more answers on this board here. A reason a couple might renew their vows. Got a value pack of score, 2020 football. These things are all over the place at Walmart and Target. Nobody wants these things, apparently. Curtis Elliott choosing to play. 30 seconds on the clock for Curtis.
Marriage trouble not on the board. That is strike number one. All the videos I see, every target that people go to, these are the things that are left. Like, nobody wants these things. Zach Martin. Jerry Tillery. That's probably why I have a ton of them, and I keep telling my wife, no more, no more. We got enough. Carry on Johnson. And Michael Gallup. For Jeffrey Lee's Cowboys. Curtis Elliott, 10 seconds. Answer number two. Happy birthday. Nope, not on the board, man. Strike two. It's your birthday. Let's renew your vows, honey. One more strike, and Card Shark will get a chance to steal. We got a Matthew Stafford. For Card Shark. South of the border, Tijuana brother in the house. Tajay Sharp. Marvin Jones. This is the Card Shark pack right here. Sam Darnold. James Conner. Make up for no wedding before. That is strike number three for Curtis Elliott. This is a tough one once you get past the first one. Karshar Chris, you were close in the first chance. This is your chance to steal 15 seconds to come up with an answer and try and steal this thing. James Conner, the rookies. If there's a good rookie class and uh, parallels have some, but the base cards, not really, not a whole lot. John Brown, Vance McDonald, and Kyler Murray. Ethan H., have a good day. See you later. Thank you for stopping by. Waiting for Card Shark to give his answer. Let's see what he comes up with. A reason a couple might renew their vows. Vacation. Not on the board. These were the answers. They get back together. You were close on that other one because they love each other. And the answer we had on the board already, big anniversary, was number one. Curtis Elliott taking the win. One, two, three, four, or five, Curtis Elliott. Five cards from the giveaway box. Curtis gets to pick one of them. Curtis says, give me number two. Dropping twos over here. Number two is a, I think it's a 94, 93? 94, Don Mattingly. For Curtis Elliott. Curtis, man. Poker legend. Curtis came in either first or second in every tournament that we played. Last time the card you picked was a cool football auto. All right, here we go. Next fast money round. Everybody gets a chance. There are more than a couple people here now, Jake and Dear Man, so you're going to have to play along like, like it's normal here. One, two, three, four, five answers on this board. <laughs> How can you tell someone thinks their pet is a child, a human child? Give me a reason. They surveyed 100 people. How can you tell someone thinks their pet is a human child? They're fur babies, I think, is the term for it nowadays. It poops in the house. Gets into stuff. Jadavion Clowney. Ted Ginn Jr. DK Metcalf. Fantastic first year for DK. They're lonely people. One. 
is the loneliest number. Everybody answering. Let's see. Answer number five is they kiss them. Smoochie, smoochie. Number four is that they won't stop talking about them. Answer number three is that they call them their baby. Answer number two is that they dress them. And the first answer on the board is that they talk to them. So Jake and Deer Man, y'all can play. We'll let you play. Jake training his animals how to poop in the toilet, apparently. Jake and Deer Man are next to play Family Feud. Five answers on the board. South of the border, you'll get another chance when we do Fast Money again. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know you're ready to play the feud. And George Kittle. Red parallels in this one. Clellan Farrell for the Raiders. Or Las Vegas, that is. All right. One, two, three, four, five answers on the board. If they didn't have to work all day, what might a parent do instead? Five answers on the board. If they didn't have to work all day, what might a parent do instead? Clellan Farrell, sleep for Deer Man. DeAndre Baker, red parallel for the Giants. Golf, says Jake. Both fine answers. Golf is not on the board, though. And sleep is on the board. Sleep is the number one answer. Sleep had 46 people say that. Dear man, pass or play? Mason must have just hopped back on. <laughs> DeAndre Baker, red parallel. Dear man's going to play. Cheyenne O'Grady, red, red parallel rookie card for the Arkansas Razorbacks. Bunch of inserts and score. Lamar. Clean is on the board. Clean is the number three answer. So we got sleep and clean. Clean had nine people say that. Three answers left. Derrick Henry, next level. Watch TV. On the board, number two answer. Nine people saying that one. Two answers left. No strikes for Deer Man. 3D for the Niners. Relax on the board. Somebody getting some help over here. Relax. I had eight people say that. Answer number five is left. We might have a clean sweep for uh, Deer Man here. Josh Jacobs in the zone. J.J. Watt. Dalvin Cook. Zeke. Game face. Cook. Not on the board. That is strike number one. Strike number one. The Bears huddle up. You're done. <laughs> okay. He had two more strikes to go, but he is passing it to Jake over here. Jake. He has given up his other two strikes and is passing it to you. Green Bay Packers huddle up as the red parallel. Rookie cards are Sean McKeon, T. Higgins, Jeff Okuda. Ten seconds left for Jake to answer. 
Brandon Ayuk. Jalen Hurts, not a bad rookie class here in the pack here. And Tommy Stevens makes me eat my words. All right, Jake has left the building apparently, and Deer Man's going to win by default. No answer from Jake. Uh, it's Jake from State Farm. Number five, yep. He has not answered, so number five is yours. Number five is an Andrew Benintendi Future Star Gold Cup. That is yours. All right. A couple fast money rounds, and we're going to get out of here. Anybody can answer these. Fast money time. One, two, three, four, five, six answers on the board. Name a superstition you believed when you were growing up. Name a superstition you believed when you were growing up. That's the question on the card. Name a superstition that you believed when you were growing up. That you were a superhero? Okay. Curtis Elliott. Don't cross a folding stair. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Curtis says Boogeyman. Mason now says Bigfoot. Answer number five was Santa. Sorry to burst any bubbles here. Number six is the Tooth Fairy. Or number five is the Tooth Fairy. Number four is South of the Borders answer, Walking Under a Ladder. Number three was that you were going to break your mama's back by stepping on a crack. Number two was that a black cat was bad luck. Charlie Rogers, welcome, man. We are finishing up Family Feud. We got one more fast money round. And the number one answer was that seven years of bad luck with that broken mirror. So south of the border... Nobody else was breaking their mama's back. So one, two, or three for south of the border. You get your choice. One, two, or three. Curtis, you remember what step on a line was? If Curtis can tell me what step on a line was, you will win a card, sir. Number three is a... Iconic Cards reprint of Gary Carter for the Expos. You don't remember what? Step on? Yeah, you step on a crack, you break your mama's back. Step on a line, break your father's spine. Man, y'all weren't living. All right, next fast money round and last fast money round. They asked 100 siblings with sisters to name something their sister has in common with Lisa Simpson from The Simpsons. They asked 100 people with sisters, what do they have in common with Lisa? One, two, three, four, five answers on the board. Oh, that saxophone, man. She was Bill Clinton. All right, answer.
answers are up. We are going to figure out who gets it. Let's see. Uh, answer number five is that they are a know-it-all. Answer number five is that they are a know-it-all. Answer number four is that they are annoying. Answer number three is that they talk a lot. Answer number two is that they are a tattletale. And answer number one, Charlie Rogers picking this one up. They are smart. Charlie Rogers, one or two. There are two cards left. One or two. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us, playing ABQ Family Feud. Tomorrow morning is auction day. Tonight is box number one of our quarter case break, 2015 Donruss, and... Subscribe, hit the bell, and smash the thumbs up button. That's right. You heard the little lady. Charlie Rogers, card number one or card number two. Which one do you choose? Charlie dropped the mic. He was all hotboxing it. I'm out. All right, we'll get with Charlie later. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for hanging out with us. We will see y'all tonight. Hopefully, if not, we'll catch you on the replay. If I get back in time, I will stream the White Sox and the Indians. Uh, south of the border, if you want, I'll try to stream the Padres later. It'll be our first attempt at streaming baseball and a box opening. So we'll see how that goes. Appreciate you guys and have a great day.